Yesterday, July 18th, saw a huge update for The Sims 4. Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my Sims 4 news video. I'm gonna cover what was new, what was fixed, any issues since the update, the mod impact, and also a little bit of touch on on actual issues with downloading the update that happened. So to start with those issues, I saw a lot of people having problems actually getting the update. Some didn't see the update, some couldn't get the update because it wasn't, it got held up probably because it was like 2.8 gigabytes on Windows and I've heard it's bigger on console and I don't know about Mac, but that would have been probably putting a lot of strain on EA servers. And I saw that actually not just the EA app had problems, but Origin had problems for Mac players. So it wasn't just limited to the EA app this time. Now, one thing I had mentioned, if you don't see an update in the EA app, the best thing to do is to make sure that you actually exit your EA app. So I'm just gonna show you here. It's the top left three buttons or lines, and then you wanna hit exit. Now that is different than just Xing the little X on the top right hand side, which you can't see, I don't have my screen full to see that, but the X, on the right hand side minimizes it. Exit essentially exits and fully closes the program. Now, if that doesn't work, the next thing to do is to restart your computer. And when I say restart, I actually mean the restart button and not the shutdown button because shutdown doesn't actually close everything. It leaves everything in a hibernation state. So when you open back up, it opens up quickly. Whereas restart actually restarts it. In the past, it used to be that shutdown would essentially do that, exit everything and restart didn't, but they switched that around, I heard with Windows 10. So if you ever have problems, hopefully it's resolved if you did have problems, but if you're having those problems, those are things to do. And then the next thing is if you actually have problems with the actual update, the best thing to do there is to clear your EA app cache and you can clear your origin cache, but it's not as simple. That's the only thing where EA app actually is better than origin, other than that I tend to prefer origin. Um, so same, those three lines, help, and then app recovery. And then when you get that message, you're gonna want to clear your cache. I'm not going to, I'm not having a problem and that can help. I actually had to do that for me. I got the update by exiting the EA app. It did not show without me doing that. But when I went to do the update, it got hung <laughs> and it was doing nothing. So I went and cleared the EA app cache and then it updated for me. So I'm curious if you had any problems with actually getting the update. I'd love to know in a comment down below and hopefully at this point you actually have it, but those are steps that I suggest for any time. So moving on to what was new with the update. As I said, it was very big. There was a lot of new things that got added and there were a ton of bug fixes. So as we knew, we were getting those three new hairstyles. So it said braids and long flowing hair is important to the cultural identity of indigenous people in America. To reflect this in game, we are enthused to add three hairstyles in the form of a double braid, single braid and lengthen hair that extends down your Sims mid back, which I will have shown my Sim. That is just an existing Sim that I had that I happened to put the hairstyles on and I did them reverse. <laughs> I did the length and hair, then the single braid, then the double braid when I put them on my sim. Now they also have uh, new eye presets and brows in tapered, straight and wavy shapes. Now I don't really pay that much attention to those. So I couldn't tell what was new because everything new does not get a new symbol beside it. So if you're more familiar with that, hopefully you'll recognize what ones are new with respect to the eyebrows I think it was the ones down at the bottom I don't even pay that close attention to them either I definitely don't pay attention to the eye presets uh but I can show the ones at the bottom that look like they were them and they also actually do have a bug report with respect to the darkest color not showing up as dark as it should which I'll link down below. So, and there are also three new under eye bags in the eye details category. So they added a new dish, the Three Sisters Chili, which is available to cook on the grill. So I eat on the barbecue, not on the stove. So in Native American tradition, the Three Sisters are corn, beans, and squash, and they grow best together in the same plot. The eldest is corn, 
provides a strong foundation for the beans to climb and the beans enrich the soil with nitrogen and the youngest sister squash covers the ground protecting all of their roots. And I also heard that it prevents weeds. I had seen a link, Simguru George had shared it. So very interesting. Unfortunately, the new foods, <laughs> the corn, bean, and squash, they're not new harvestables in the game, but the actual food is. I expect that's because they, you know, they grow together in real life and of course they wouldn't in the game if they added the three of them they'd be separate so they probably would have had to have made something that had all three of them on it and maybe that was just something a bit beyond their easy to do perhaps who knows it would be interesting to see so and they also came back and said uh, that was Simgru ash introducing that part but Simagru George came back and said, traits have had a bit of a reorganization. They're now more evenly distributed under emotional, hobby, lifestyle, and social categories. And of course, the big thing was ceilings. The ability to apply colors and patterns to the ceilings is now yours. When you open up build mode, you will find the update where you previously apply floor patterns, now renamed to floor and ceiling patterns, you simply select ceilings by tile or ceilings by room, and then you select your pattern and apply it to the ceiling of your choice. And it does not apply to the undersides of roofs. So when I tried that, when I was on the room and I would do it, I'd have to, I, I'm still figuring it out. I'd have to go page up and then fiddle with it. And then the ceiling would come up and I did get it to work. But uh, one thing that I did notice is that I would actually have liked it if we actually got paint to apply to the ceiling. And I didn't see that. I saw floor tiles for the ceiling. And I'd probably be more inclined to use it if I could apply different paint colors to my ceiling. Because there's times where, you know, tile and wood and all that is good. But other times, even with the fact that they added more variations in colors, I still, I looked at them, I, I don't want a pattern stone on my roof most of the time etc etc but uh so i'll probably stick with white most of the time but there are times where it'll fit and i'm curious what you think about that and have you tested it out too and then the other thing that i am actually finding very interesting is the free camera in build mode which works the same way as it does in live mode which essentially is you hit the tab button then the letter controls are the same like q is down e is up etc etc uh, I found that very handy because I could better see what I was doing, especially with the ceiling, but just in general with everything. Whereas in the past, I'd have to go back to live mode to really look around. And then when you go back into build mode, well, it doesn't remember what you did, so you can't undo anything anymore. Whereas if you can do it while you're still in build mode, I found that very, very handy. Now, they have also updated a number of wall, floor, fence, and door patterns with additional colors. Really, it was a lot of floor patterns were like a ton then wall and then the fence and door there was one for each of those so for the wall patterns they had the essence of pastel desert skies and above deck were got more color variants and then there was another one further down that they talked about and then for flooring the wood floor patterns you can see them up there there were a lot and when I could see there were four that didn't and I know for sure two of them had already got extra colors previously I don't remember about the other two but perhaps they did so at this point either all or most of the wood floor patterns have gotten more colors over the time than what we used to have so yay for that then we also got color variants added to the following stone or brick floor patterns which I'm showing there on the screen the actual names. One way to find them is just to search by the name and then you can see them or you can hover over and see the name. So it was quite a lot of uh, stone and brick floor patterns and they're actually all found under stone and some for sure are found under the brick. I did look but there was so much. I only looked so much at it and then there were three more wall patterns. Dulcet, Duet, Brick and Plaster and Plaster Makes Perfect uh, got updated with matching color variants. And the ladder style horizontal fencing got more color variants. It's not one I use very much, so I couldn't really see what the color variants were on it when I took a look. And then we have more color variants being added to the simple panel, simple single panel door <laughs> as its own door, the simple single panel door ranch. 
And that new door is actually only 40 simoleons. So it's like right at the top of the uh, doors or near the top. So it was uh, one that I probably will use because I tend to use inexpensive doors in my game, especially single doors versus the ones that take multiple ones because I just find them easier to be able to move stuff around. But anyways, the bug fixes. There were a ton. And the ones on the laundry list that I had stood out to me, they were fixed. I didn't do a one for one. There were so many, but all of the significant ones are on the bug fix list. So yay for that. So I again, have it up on the screen. I'm not going to talk about all of them because there's just so many, but you know, the Sims washing hands in the sink close to the toilet was one thing that I had remembered from the laundry list and is also here. And a big one that I've seen a lot of people asking about, you know, when they get this message, that items removed error message will no longer appear if you own everything on the lot. Is that why it happened? Okay. <laughs> I didn't actually notice that. I just skimmed. This is such a long list. And, uh... You can see a lot of other things and there were some, so that was the live mode for the base game. Then they had some for build mode, which you can see there. A lot of them had to do with like circular things and foundations and whatnot. So I am moving along. Create a sim had a few and then there was some miscellaneous ones. Now get to work were the big ones that I had noticed on the laundry list and they are indeed on here about the uh, invention constructor. Well now respond to requests to chat but also the one that I really noticed was the fact that the holographic displays are supposed to be working um, in the construction area not on top of the sim. Uh, the Dr. Career one which was on the laundry list and then the alien fertility increased male sims that are abducted by aliens can now get pregnant. So, and then there was another one for cats and dogs or two for cats and dogs, four fixes for seasons, one for get famous, two for island living, four for discover university. I'm scrolling through and showing. You can always stop if you wanna look and I'll be linking down below. Four for eco lifestyle, uh, three for snowy escape there. Then there's a lot for cottage living. I haven't actually counted those. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen for cottage living. One of the big ones with that is the animals no longer age up and die when you have animal aging option turned off in game settings. Hopefully that's actually true. And one thing I didn't notice, I tested the Sims now immediately join cooking during the cook together interaction and I can't say I noticed that. Maybe if you get them both to be by where the cooking is taking place, then it will. But when I tried doing it, I still found that it didn't work very well. But that may be the thing I need to try to see if that makes a difference to it versus, you know, the sim being in the kitchen and the other sim being far away. It still didn't work very well. Anyway, so then there's a bunch of fixes also for high school years, which you can see up there on the screen. Uh, some for growing together, not the ones I particularly wanted to see. I mean, I'm nothing wrong with the ones that are here, don't get me wrong, but there were some more significant ones that I would have really rather have seen fixed. Uh, like the CAS corruption. If your Sims have extra traits from the, you know, discovery options, <sighs> which only happens if you're changing them using cheats like the CAS full edit mode cheat, not cheats in general, but the CAS full edit mode cheat, but that's not there. And that's the one I would like to have seen. Couple for dine out, one for vampires, one from realm of magic, another one from journey to Batu. dream home decorator got one. My wedding stories got three werewolves got three movie hangout got one nifty knitting got one. Uh, another one for Moschino, one for bust the dust two for Courtyard Oasis, and one for Carnival Streetwear. So a lot of bug fixes. Now, I have not seen any reports of anything major breaking after this update at this point in time. So it looks like it uh, was much as it was big. It didn't cause any significant problems. I'm not saying it was perfect. And there was that issue where the, the eyebrows are not like the right color, but I haven't seen anything that's game breaking. I haven't heard of anything game breaking, so that's good. Uh, mods did break. From what I can see, quite a lot of them broke. 
And some have already been updated. So MCCC is one that has already gotten a hotfix update. And I have on the screen here at the time that I'm recording this, what's like broken versus what's cleared. So the better build by by Twisted Mexi, the UI is broken. Color sliders by the Pancake One and Miziruki, it breaks UI. That one tends to break a lot, I'd have to say. Expandable catalog, Twisted Mexis, that's broken. I'm not gonna name them all, but you can see a few. One that also breaks a lot is that 15 clubs per sim. That breaks UI, but I find that breaks with a lot of updates. You can see here a list of some that were cleared by creator, but there is a note that not all creators clear their mods every patch and no clearing is ever 100% guarantee. Please regularly back up your saves. So hopefully you backed up your saves before. Luth did say she tested more columns in CAS and it causes no issues that she's found yet. So that's good. That actually is one that breaks quite a lot. There's a few that are outdated because we now have game fixtures or it was fixed in the patch notes. And there's some that are possibly outdated, as you can see there, but it's not guaranteed. So it's not fully, it's under possibly versus fully outdated. Then we have quite a few that actually were updated, including, like I said, MC Command Center, which is noted there. And uh, Pandasama's Childbirth mod. I'm not going to list them all because there are a lot. And you can see them on the screen. And I, as usual, will link down below so that you can see where they are. I'm scrolling down a little bit more. UI cheats broke, but it's been updated. So make sure you get the most recent version. The two that are bolded are like very common mods that people use. Little Miss Sam updated a bunch of mods. So you can see that here. Some are just actual mods. Then there are bug fix mods and some random small mods and all the rest she has cleared. The ones that aren't updated, she's cleared that they're supposed to be okay. And that is really it at this point in time. I use a lot of mods by Biancan, but I find that they take a little bit of time to get cleared. So I have to wait. So I'm still playing mod free and I plan on continuing to do that until after the pack comes out. And speaking of the pack, if you're wondering, I have not seen anything official as to what time the Horse Ranch expansion pack comes out. I expect that it's actually going to be released at 10 a.m. Pacific because it's a Thursday release. And that was when the last, the Growing Together came out at 10 a.m. Pacific. I don't remember high school years. It might have done the same, but I don't remember. It was a year ago. So... I will link to everything down below. I'm curious what you thought about the update. What was your favorite thing? And were there bug fixes that you were really happy to see? I'd love to know. But that's going to be it for this video. Likes and comments are always appreciated and they really help with the algorithms. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!